Okay, this is lesson 3.3. Solving for x and y in equation. If you remember, lesson 3.2 was the same thing. So this is just going to be more solving for x and y. This is why it's important to know each lesson because we just keep building on that concept. We are going to go over these warm-ups. So go ahead and pause the video, do the warm-ups, and then check your answer. Okay, I need to multiply negative 4 to everything in here. Negative 4 times 8 is negative 32. Negative 4 times negative 3 is positive 12. Negative 4 times 5 is negative 20. Negative 4 times negative 7 is negative 28. I'm sorry, positive 28. And make sure you put them in the brackets. Here you have to distribute. Now, important thing here. You don't see an equal sign. So that means you're not going to solve this. You're not going to tell me what x equals. There's no equal sign. All you're going to do is distribute the negative 5 minus 30 plus 3x. Now you combine the negative 10x and the positive 3. <clears throat> this gives you negative 7x minus 30. Here, you have an equal sign. You have an equal sign here. Whoops, <laughs> I thought I still had the highlighter. Uh, here, you have an equal sign. So that means you can solve for C. Remember, when you solve, that means to get the letter by itself. So I want to get C by itself. In order to do that, I have to move the negative 6D. Move a coefficient like you move a constant. That means I'm going to add 6D to both sides. Put my line at the equal sign. This cancels. 9C equals 6D plus 54. <clears throat> now, this is not slope-intercept form. We haven't really talked about that yet. But when you're solving for uh, Y, that is slope-intercept form. So you need to divide your number next to the letter to everything. Here, we're solving for C. So I can do this. The 9's cancel. C equals 6D plus 54 over 9. Okay? You don't simplify unless you're putting it in slope-intercept form. Here, I need to, this is what we did yesterday. I'm sorry, that's what we did in unit 2. Here you need to cross multiply. So I have x times 6, which is 6x. 7 times 2x, which is 14x. And 7 times 3, which is plus 21. Now, what do I have to do? I have to get all my x's on one side, all my numbers without x's on the other. So I'm going to subtract 14x. That's going to give me negative 8x equals 21. Now I divide both sides by negative 8. Now, the biggest thing is if you have a calculator at home, please feel free to use it. The biggest thing is, will 21 divided by 8, negative 8, reduce? It will not. So your negative 8's cancel. X equals 21 over negative 8. Okay. Again, we're going to solve uh, for X and Y. Remember, when you solve for a variable, you need to isolate that letter. We're getting ready to uh, solve and put things in slope-intercept form. Slope-intercept form, you're going to isolate the y. But now we're still solving for x and y. So here, because we're practicing for that, when we divide, we're going to divide by everything. This is what I mean. We're isolating the x. All right. So that means the first thing I need to do is ship the negative 5y to the other side. I do that by doing the opposite. So I'm going to add 5y to both sides. 
These cancel. 5y minus 5y is 0, leaving me 10x equals, always put your number with a letter, your coefficient first, 5y plus 15. Now I'm going to divide everything by 10, everything by 10. Each number gets divided by 10. That cancels. x equals 5 divided by 10 is 1 over 2, y. 15 over 10 is 3 over 2. That's it. That's all I'm doing. Okay. Pause the video. Go ahead and do number 2. Start it back up to see if you get the right answer. Okay, this time I'm solving for y. That means I'm going to move my 10x to the other side. This is just like putting things in slope-intercept form. Okay, so I go ahead and subtract 10x to both sides. Christina, ask me a call, Sharon, at 6106. Christina, call Sharon at 6106, please. Okay, sorry about that. That means I'm going to cancel out these 10x's, because they equal 0. I have my negative 5y equals, I put my number with a letter first, minus 10x, plus 15, because that's a positive 15. Now, I'm simply going to divide everything by negative 5. Okay? My negative 5's cancel. Negative 5 over negative 5 is 1. 1y one and y are the same thing. So y equals, this is going to become um, negative 10 divided by negative 5 is a positive 2x, because 5 goes into 10 twice, 5 goes into 5 once, negative over negative is a positive, Neg uh, 15 divided by negative 5 is minus 3. Hopefully you got the right answer. If you have any questions, feel free to come in. 3 and 4, exactly the same. Let's look at number 5. This is the same thing, except everything is on the, the left. That's okay. We're solving for x. So what do we need to move? Well, we need to move the positive 3y, and we need to move the negative 9. So we're going to move the positive 3y by subtracting 3y to both sides. 3y minus 3y is 0, leaving me 6x minus 9 equals 0 minus 3y is minus 3y. Now, negative 9, how do I move it to the other side? I add 9 to both sides. 9 minus 9 is 0, it cancels out. This leaves me 6x equals, these cannot be combined. Do not add these and tell me this is 6y. They don't both have y's, so it's negative 3y plus 9. Now I divide everything by 6. My 6 is cancel. x equals negative 3 divided by 6 is negative 1 over 2. 3 goes into 3 one time, 3 goes into two, uh, 6 two times, put your y there, plus 9 over 6. 3 can go into both these numbers, so plus 3 goes into 9 three times, 3 goes into 6 twice, so plus 3 over 2. That's your answer. 6, 7, and 8 are exactly the same. Just be careful, here you're solving for different letters, so be careful of that. This is exactly the same as what we've done before. Same with 10. Okay, 11. Now you're getting into distributive property. This is nothing we haven't done before. So the first thing you're going to want to do is distribute the 2. 2 times x is 2x. 2 times 3 is positive 6y, because that's a 3y, equals negative 12. We're solving for x. So that means I need to move my 6y over here. So I'm going to subtract 6y to both sides. 6y minus 6y is 0, leaving me 2x equals. 
I cannot add the negative 12 and the negative 6y because they don't both have y's. Put your letter first, minus 6y, minus 12. Now what am I going to do? That's right. Divide everything by 2. 2 over 2 is 1. 1x and x are the same thing. Negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3y. Negative 12 divided by 2 is negative 6. Okay? Number 12 is the same thing, except you have a 3x over here. Not a big deal. And you're going to get a positive 14, so you'll move that over. Try to do number 12. If you have any questions, please come and see me. And that's it. Okay. Remember, if you have any questions, come and see me or go to the Pace Center. Uh, thanks. Have a good day.